In this experiment, you will determine the value of Faraday's number by measuring the amount of charge required to produce one mole of hydrogen ions. The experimental value for Faraday's number can be determined through electrolysis of a copper wire. In order to start this experiment, 50 ml of 3 molar sulfuric acid is mixed with 100 ml of deionized water. The diluted acid is then placed inside a 50 ml burette. The burette is then inverted into the beaker containing the remaining acid and clamped to the stand. Note that you will lose some solution upon inverting. You want the meniscus to be below the 50 centimeter cube mark and have enough solution remaining to collect at least 20 ml of gas. Once the bread is set up, I can start preparing my wires. The insulated copper wires have two exposed ends that must be cleaned with sandpaper. A multimeter is used to set up as an ammeter. A black lead is placed in the COM port on the multimeter, while a red lead is placed in the 10A port. The multimeter is then turned on to the amp settings where or current values can be recording over time. The black lead is then connected to the negative black port on the DC power supply, while the red lead is connected to the straight end of the hooked insulated wire. The hooked insulated wire is then placed inside the burette. This can be tricky, but is easily achieved if you lean the entire apparatus. It is important that the exposed end of the hook wire is inside the burette, as this is where hydrogen gas will be produced. You want to make sure that all that gas will be collected inside the burette and not escaping. In order to complete the circuit, a third lead is connected to the straight wire and then connected to the positive red port on the DC power supply. Once we are set up, we can test to see if the circuit is working properly. You can gently turn on the DC power supply and provide a small voltage to the circuit. The DC power supply also has an analog scale that shows DC volts on the right. We want to take all our readings using 4 volts passing through the circuit and you should get bubbling inside the column of that burette while getting ampere readings from the multimeter. Once the apparatus is set up and we've measured the initial volume inside the burette, 
we can start recording our values. DC power supply is turned on to the 4 volt setting and you're going to take the ampere readings in 20 second intervals. You will keep doing this until at least 20 centimeter cubes of gas has been collected inside the column. It is important to maintain the voltage on the power supply at 4 volts and you should not shake or touch the apparatus as that could shift the amount of current passing through the system. Notice that the ampere values fluctuate over time, so an average will be taken at the end of the lab. As more hydrogen gas is produced, it displaces the sulfuric acid from the column. So starting at about 47 ml inside the column, we should end at about 27 ml in order to have collected 20 ml of gas. Once you've reached that end point, we can turn off the voltage supply. Once we have recorded our table of ampere values and the time taken, we are going to wait for the bubbling to stop inside the burette before recording the volume of gas collected. At the anode, you can see evidence that copper was lost, while at the cathode, hydrogen gas was produced, filling up the burette. The blue color of the solution indicates that copper 2 sulfate was produced. Now that we're finished, one of the last things we want to do is we get the temperature. So I have a thermometer here. We're going to get the temperature. That's currently at 26.7 degrees Celsius. Take our meter ruler. We're going to get the height of the liquid from the meniscus here to the meniscus in the column. Total volume of gas collected. We look. It stops at twenty 
All the data recorded will be provided to you in a document in the link provided. Use the temperature provided along with a data table to find the vapor pressure of water. In your lab report, be sure to indicate how you found the average current.